Hi friends, it's me, Miss Caitlin from the Children's Discovery Center. I'm missing you all so much. Even though we're not together, we can still share a story time together. Would you like to join me? Great, okay, so you can go ahead, grab this stuffed animal, like my friend Bunny, and then come back on over and we can share a story together. Great, I'm so glad you're back. Let's begin. Today, my story is called My Friend Bunny by Louise Tate. There's a small fluffy bunny who lives nearby. She is quiet and friendly and just a bit shy. She is great fun to visit and often will play with big balls of string and some modeling clay. Bunny loves reading and knows where to look to find stories of dragons and fairies in books. When she's not reading or playing with string, Bunny likes dancing and learning to sing. She likes to dress up and pretend she's a knight or a farmer or a doctor or a chef dressed in white. Playing pretend is so much fun. There's so many different things you can pretend to be while you're at home with your family. My bunny loves to run fast and can jump very high and she waves to the birds as she flies through the sky. And if it is raining, there's lots we can do with pencils, small feathers, some ribbons and glue. When Bunny paints, she makes quite a mess with paint on the ceiling, the cat in her dress. Oh my goodness, friends, look at that page. There is paint everywhere. Bunny is friendly and knows how to talk to a pigeon from Norway and a Japanese stork. When I grow up, I may forget how to play, but Bunny won't mind. She'll be with me each day. The end. Hey friends, I know that things have been a little bit different lately as we haven't been able to see our friends and our family. So what I want to do today is I want to think of a friend of mine and think of something that I really enjoyed doing with her. And I'm going to draw a picture of that and then I can send it to her in the mail. So let me take a moment to think. Okay, I've got it. One of my really great friends is Miss Sandy that a lot of you probably know. And one thing that I know Miss Sandy loves is rainbows. So the first thing I'm going to draw Miss Sandy is a rainbow. I'm going to just start with a red marker and draw my arch. And then does anybody know what color comes next in the rainbow? Yes, it's orange. So then I'll do an orange arch followed by a yellow and a green. And then what color comes next? Yes, it is, it's blue. A blue arch. And then finally we have purple. And I'll draw purple. And then when I'm thinking about all these colors, I remember that Miss Sandy's favorite color is green. So I'll write her name in green. Can you help me sound out the letters? Okay, the first sound is this. S hmm like snake. Oh, that's an S. S, S, A, A, S, N, N. Is that an N? I think it is. N, S, N, D, D, S, N, D, E. Now I know this is a little tricky, but there's actually a Y at the end, even though it makes the E sound. So I wrote Miss Sandy's name with a rainbow, and I know that she also loves butterflies, so I'm going to draw a beautiful butterfly for her on this picture. And then I'm going to draw two smiley faces for me and Miss Sandy. And maybe a heart, because we love each other so much. Let's see. I think I'll do a red heart. My picture is complete. How did yours turn out? I bet it's wonderful. Now that I'm done with my picture, I'm going to put it in an envelope and have an adult help 
write your address with a stamp and you can put it in your mailbox and it will go to your friend or family member who you love and who you are missing so much. Thanks for joining me today. I miss you guys. Take care.